Right boys, how's it going? And welcome back to part three of Reverb My Alloy Wheels. I'm back at Global Motors again. Um, I've got the black paint and everything, the lacquer here. We'll be moving on to the black paint today, thank God, and then lacquer in it probably in the next episode. Um, so I'm so excited to get the black paint on. I'm shattered, I've just finished work and come straight down here. So let's crack on with it, get it all looking good, and then I'll catch up with you guys after that or midway through, not too sure yet. But yeah, stay tuned. Sorry, decides to go on to coat number two. Already. Absolute crackhead. Already. Don't go too heavy, girl, because you know what like? It runs like fuck. Yeah, boys. Wheels are black. Ooh, ooh. This edition. Chrissy G's back in a Civic, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go for a quick Mackie strip while that drops. Oh, the owner of this Audi R would be fucking fuming. Look at the little cunts. All right, we're all revitalized. Let's try and. Clear coat on there, also. All shiny. They're quite glossy as they are. Totally dry. Right, what we've decided to do, because obviously when you're putting tyres back on, both beads are going to go on either side. So we're going to spray, like, because you don't really spray this bit, you're not going to see it at all, but just spray it underneath a little bit so that when you do, when you do go to put the bead on, it doesn't, like, dry up and then just the, doesn't flake off when obviously the bead seals. Yeah. When the bead seals. But yeah, we'll do that now. It dries quite quick. Surprising that you didn't have. Just finished up the third full coat and they're looking lush. As you can see, there's a few little imperfections still, but like it's a DIY job, it's not going to be perfect. But like they actually look really good, and obviously, they're not glossy yet because we haven't got the clear lacquer on. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna wait for this to dry and probably do either one more or maybe two more coats, and then we'll be heading home to leave it dry. All right, boys, so this is the latest edition down at Glow Motors, belonging to Chris Grout. Now, like, he's actually probably going to keep this. This is like one of his first proper cars that he fell in love with. And like, to be fair, I don't blame them. It looks lush. Look how clean it is. And to be fair, you wouldn't even know the mileage of this car. This car's on 101,000 miles, but as you know, K20 engines are bulletproof anyway. But yeah, it's really, really clean. And it's a facelift 05 plate. So it's pretty damn like, you know, rare as well. Because to have it in like that black, the black, honestly, like the bumper on it is even in better condition than his old one. That has absolutely meant we cleaned all the time. But yeah, he's probably going to keep it, knowing Chris. I know Chris will keep it because... But um, yeah, it basically is, yeah, you know the place I'm getting my car mapped called Tuna Lab. They do Honda Data and Tuna now, so he's kind of like a bit more interested in keeping this one now. So it may be up for sale in the future, it may not be, but you have to keep your eye out. Hey, hey. Can you see him? Let's go. Um, this might be the last one, it might not be. We'll see how it looks after this. We've got, we've got plenty of paint after this anyway, so it's fine. And even yeah, 52 badges, it is sick. So yeah, let's crack on. Let's track around the coats we've done now, but look how clean these are looking. I'm going to leave these in the safe hands of Chris Grout after we've done one more coat. Chris Grout at Glow Motors. Make sure you go check it out. <laughs> <laughs> and um, he, what he's going to do is literally just glide over it with wet sand tomorrow just to get rid of any of the other bits. I'm going to FaceTime at the same time just so he knows what he's doing. Wet and then, um, wet sand. Wet sand. Wet and dry. Wet sand, 
quite santé, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up, bro. Quite santé, bro. Um, but yeah, we're going to do one more coat, and then I'll be back with you guys. And then after that, we'll end off the video probably in Globe Motors because the Civic is looking sick as fuck. Right, boys and girls, this is ourselves a DIY induction kit. You can tell us here's some real VTEC, baby. <laughs> Right boys, I'm going to end off the video here. Um, I'm not going to show us another final coat to the wheels because it's a bit pointless and you've probably seen us go through about four different coats right now so you're getting bored out of your minds. Um, I'm going to leave it here with Chris now at Glow Motors. Make sure you check him out. Link in the description down below. Oh, yeah, I'm going to leave it here with Chris now. He's going to wet sand him tomorrow then I'll be back here on Thursday to give it its clear coat. And then once the clear coat's dried after about 24 hours, so I'll be coming down, uh, they'll be coming, Chris will be bringing them back on Friday for me. And I'll be putting them on for the day I get my car dynoed and remapped to stage two. So yeah, stay tuned guys for the next episode. Uh, we are on part three now, so stay tuned for part four. Um, check out my social media, it's in the description down below. Make sure you do check out Glow Motors as well because Chris has been absolutely amazing helping me out down here. And um, if you want to get some lush cars, give him a message because you know, we travel to Wales to get a Civic as well. So he doesn't really mind about traveling to go get cars. Like that's the main thing about it when you want to buy a car. You don't mind going to get a really nice car, like wherever it is. Like my parents have been to like Ireland and stuff like that. So Chris really wouldn't mind. Um, if you want to give him a message, it's everything will be in the description down below. His Instagram, his Facebook page. Um, he's still ain't got his website sorted out yet, but that is coming up in the future. It does take a lot of preparation for things like that. But yeah, thanks for watching this video, guys. Um, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And hit the bell button to be notified every single time I upload. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye for now. Oh,